Okay, we will uh, go for the last um, movie about the beginning uh, on beginner level in the robot. Uh, we will play a little bit with the geometry which we create on the previous movie. It's uh, just a frame. Okay, uh, first of all, the structure type. Uh, right now we are in the frame 2D design and um, let's just for the exercise for just uh, practicing let's delete the middle three one uh, cells if i would like to fulfill this gap i would go i would just mark the geometry which i want to copy and go for the edit move copy and then i have to um, define the translation vector either i can do it manually uh, you see that it's the x um, comma the z so we know that uh, it's two meters long uh, vector from zero to two so we can either do like that and uh, click execute and we see that it has been created either we can create this translation vector just by marking a base point and the end point of it yeah and now we see we have it also there is an option to if you go to edit and edit uh, to vertical mirror and we have to just uh, give him a plane uh, location and you see that it uh, mirror uh, two beams Okay, right now we would like to create a uh, bars uh, in the cells. Let's go for the um, bars. And here, um, if I click on the first uh, point of the bar and the second one, we see that there is also the option of the dragging of the um, drawing geometry. So we are choosing it and we see that right now um, the drawing starts from the end of the previous uh, done geometry. So for uh, creating a bars, it's maybe the fastest way. Let's just check uh, the cross section. Yeah, they are pretty good. Let's uh, check uh, load types. Uh, I have two loads. Um, yes, uh, I will maybe delete and create it one more time with you. If we go to the load load types, uh, we I want to create another dead load and uh, go for the loads and the load uh, definition and i want to create for example uh, minus one kilonewton per, per meter on the bottom uh, chord of the right now frame uh, so either i am uh, clicking like that either i go to apply to one time click the left button on the mouse and then i can with, uh, for example, shift uh, mark uh, the elements which I want to have. You see that these elements are exactly the finite element numbers. It's 27, 29, 15. So I can even go and just type it manually from the keyboard 15, 29, 27. There is many ways to do it. All of them are good. Uh, try as many as possible to learn as much as possible. Run the calculation. And we see the warning, another one. Uh, let's check, uh, maybe first of all, let's cancel the calculation and check the releases, geometry releases. Let's delete all of the releases. Click and uh, delete uh, and all, apply. Yes. And run the calculation. The model is fine. The frame, as long as it is a frame, it's working properly. There is no problem the deformation are also okay and then uh, let's uh, check uh, what's the problem with the uh, releases let's go for the for it releases and i want to for example create uh pinned pinned uh, connections in the structure in between two columns let's click Okay, and we see we create uh, everywhere pin pin connections. Right now, let's uh, calculate it. Oh, yeah, we have a problem. Uh, 7, 16, 15, 18, uh, a lot of these uh, nodes. If I click on them, we see that all of the central nodes um, have the 
instability first type in the air y direction it means that they can uh, rotate freely without uh, any of the uh, load but uh, it's not exactly true because we see that the structure uh, is behaving okay it's not flying away so then how to get uh, rid of this uh, warning um, generally you don't have to think so much about this uh, warning it's just a warning the calculation uh, has run you understand that the structure is uh, calculated properly but if you want to clean your structure from this kind of the warning for this case for example um, if i go for the for this kind of the join when from one side there is no rotation freedom but from two other sides it's rotation freedom uh, there will be no warning about the rotational freedom and uh, it, it's somehow stupid because it's exactly the same as it was like uh, that it's exactly the same mechanical um, principles are exactly the same there is rotational freedom anyway if i do like that or that it's just uh, the question of the algorithm of the robot so if you want to get out of uh, these warnings you have to uh, start for example from the one side uh, to do in the bottom and top court in it means that in the node all of the beams at least uh, okay in the node uh, all of the beams uh, if they are rotational free uh, there will be a warning at least if one is not rotational free it it will be um, it will be not anymore this warning so it's for me it's a little bit stupid but uh, I, yeah uh, one thing about pin fixed uh, you see that uh, when i am dragging to this node of this beam you see the small arrows turning to the left if i go from the left node you see that these arrows are pointing from the left to the uh, from the left to the right so if it's pin fix, it means that on the beginning uh, of my marking, there will be pinned connection and on the end will be fixed. So if I click right now, we see that it's pinned here and fixed here. But if I start to marking uh, this kind of the connection from the right side, you see that pinned connection is here and the fix is over there. But for the last one, I would use just pinned pinned because uh, this node has already uh even two uh, fixed and here it's uh, already one okay so we have pinned 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 uh, yeah everything should be fine if i run the calculation i still have the uh, warning but if i click uh, and skip them all you see it marked only the top uh uh, the, the problem is only in the top internal uh, nodes so i just have to repeat my um, proce uh, procedure uh, in the in the top uh, uh, this time it should be like that okay should be fine i go for the calculations and there is no problem okay uh, this was about copying and releases um, yes 